didn't do myself justice, and at the end of the day, that's how I've got to hold my hands up. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed when uh, when he brought back Steve Archibald because at the time he gave me the impression that he was, he was only going to be for a couple of weeks. But uh, obviously, uh, when they did bring him back, they, they had to cancel my registration. So uh, in effect, I was I was out for the rest of the season, and and I didn't play for them again. So I was a little bit disappointed about that. But at the time, I was just happy just to be out of the team. Really. Well, we went out during the first summer he was there and he was quite happy and then we went and spent the new year with him and he wasn't too bad then but we went at Easter time and he wasn't happy at all and I thought Mark will be here long, he'll be home, you know, and, and that's the way it turned out. Uh, at the time I, uh, I wanted to come back to Old Trafford but uh, unfortunately um, uh, from a financial point of view it uh, really didn't make sense because uh, I hadn't been out of the country for a full tax year, so I would have been liable to tax on, on my earnings uh, abroad. So for the sake of uh, four or five months, uh, really, I had to stay out of the country. So the opportunity to go by Munich came up, and uh, obviously they were a very big club, and it was a chance to start playing again, which was important to me. Uh, they were still involved in the European Cup as well, which was uh, something I'd never played in. So really, there was only one choice, really. Yeah, I was, I was tempted to stay in Germany because um, I enjoyed the lifestyle there. Um, the football suited me a lot more than uh, Spanish football did. Um, it, I, I was uh, appreciated more for what I did uh, for the team and I wasn't just judged on my goals, which was uh, a nice change really. And, uh, and with my wife, Jill, was out there with me then and uh, she enjoyed it as well. And, uh, like if, if it hadn't been the fact that it was United that came in for me, um, I've said many times I probably would have been playing for Bayern Munich for a couple more seasons than I actually did. Yeah, I was having a good time in Bayern Munich, but uh, Alex Ferguson had always uh, made his uh, feelings known that he that he wanted to bring me back to Old Trafford, and uh, he came over a couple of times, uh, and his assistant uh, Archie Knox came over, and uh, obviously they they made me feel very much wanted. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, because of the the enthusiasm they had for for my style of play, uh, it, it it made me. Uh, Think, and, think seriously about what I wanted to do and uh, at the end of the day there, there was no choice to make really, there was only one place I wanted to go. When I came back I had a lot of criticism um, for myself and Brian McLeod, a lot of criticism because uh, we didn't score too many goals that year uh, and obviously yet the year before I came back uh, Brian scored 30 odd goals which is a great tally really. Um, so obviously uh, fingers were pointed in my direction really, saying that uh, the reason Brian hasn't scored is because he's playing with me. Um, I think it was a little bit unfair because uh, within about uh, two, three months of the season starting, uh, uh, we lost about three wingers that we lost Jesper Olsen, he was sold, gone strack and, and uh, Peter Dambo, who, was a, who did a good job for for Brian uh, in the previous year, they, they'd all been sold within a matter of months, and uh, really we never replaced them until uh, Lee Sharp started to break through. Side is Hughes. There he is. There's his cross. I see. I think that sometimes people just have to offer it away. It's, there's a certain magnetism between them. I suppose they could build up a good relationship. I think that uh, Paul and myself and Sparky have had to probably adjust their games a little bit to suit each other. Possibly the team as well tonight. That. Over the last three years, the team's evolved from, from the team I played in the first season. Sometimes partnerships um, can take time. But they don't just happen overnight. Some do, but in the case of Mark and Brian, I feel there were some games that were excellent together. But um, I think that was a media thing more than it came from Old Trafford. It never, was never a, 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 a talking point in, in the coaches' room. It was never a discussion between me and the players. It was always down to the media's um, particular involvement in it. And of course, they can distort and exaggerate things out of context. Well, it's been said that um, I'm difficult to be play with, but um, I'm, I'm a little 
uh, disappointed with that, that because uh, I, I feel that um, I, I do a lot of work for the team, uh, bring people into the game and knock, knock the ball off and, and try and work out for the team. And, uh, I'm, I'm sure a lot of uh, teams would rather have me playing with them than, than against them. Uh, it's just something that uh, the press have got onto and uh, obviously if they're stuck for something to say they can trot out the same story and uh, it keeps on coming back. I mean, uh, just as the, the thing about uh, the fact that myself and Brian can't play together um, this year because we score so many goals, uh, that's gone a little bit quiet but uh, no doubt if uh, we don't score as regularly again next year, uh, no doubt that'll be trotted out again. I remember the final were obviously uh, scoring the two goals um, and in the first final when I, when I played in 85 against Everton I didn't really think I played very well and I didn't really make much of a contribution really but uh, obviously yeah, to, to score in a cup final is I think everybody's player's dream and uh, when I was able to score a couple of goals and obviously the, the third one was uh, very important for us because uh, it kept us in the match really. First goal, I think um, Paul Lins uh, had the ball, and uh, whether or not he was crossing or shooting, I'm not too sure. But uh, it, it just happened to be to break for me, and uh, I had to stretch a little bit because the ball went went across me. But uh, I made a good contact on it, kept it low, and uh, it went in the fa uh, back to the corner where it came from. And uh, uh, at the time, uh, I was very pleased, but uh, Brian McClay ran over and. Uh, Clutched me around the throat, and uh, I was a bit dazed for about five minutes later because uh, I think he squeezed a little bit too hard. Um, the second goal, um, Danny Wallace uh, picked her up um, and made a, made a good forward run. And then I, I made uh, uh, a little run for him, diagonal run, and he slipped it, to, slipped the ball through, which was a good ball. And um, the keeper actually uh, came out and made my mind up because uh, usually I just. Uh, and blast him from all angles, but uh, he, he came out and I, I saw him coming. I was able just to slip it past him. Very pleased with that one. Um, well, I think Crystal Palace in the second game they, they came out just to try and uh, be a lot more physical, and I think I think it worked it worked against them really. I think in the first game they, at least they tried came out and tried to to play a little bit of football. Uh, but as I said, they came out tried to be a little bit too physical and uh, it didn't work again work for them. Um, uh, as for the goal, I think uh, Neil Webb uh, had the ball uh, deep. I made a, cr a run across uh, the penalty area and uh, I think I dragged a few with me and then Lee Martin made a good run and uh, uh, put the ball in. And I'm not too sure he was uh, knew what he was doing at the time but uh, he made a good contact in it. Uh, on that stage, uh, always a bit nerve-wracking the last 10 minutes but uh, uh, we were re reasonably confident we were going to win. It was a great run, really, because we, we played so many difficult uh, teams and we, we performed so well uh, against them uh, that when we got to the fan, we, we were very disappointed in our performance because after doing so well in the previous rounds to get to the final and not to perform was very disappointing for ourselves and for the fans. Um, we played we played Liverpool at Old Trafford here and uh, um, we played them off the park, really, that night and we won 3-1. We went down to Arsenal and uh, we get probably the result of the season down there, 6-2. And then uh, we have two very hard games against Leeds. And then uh, we, we turn out for the final and we just don't perform at all. And uh, I don't think anybody knows the reason behind it. Possibly we had our minds on, on the European final, I don't know. But uh, we didn't perform and didn't do ourselves justice. Which, as I said, because of the teams and the quality of the teams that we'd beaten, to, to get there, it was made him doubly disappointing. The goal I scored against uh, Liverpool, um, I'd just been injured actually, and uh, I was struggling a little bit because I, I'd 
unknown to me at the time, but uh, I was later found out I'd uh, torn the muscles just above uh, my ankle. So uh, at the time, I just went over to Jimmy Gregg and he strapped it up and just said, "Well, see how it goes." So uh, I just went back on the pitch, and as I'm uh, within a couple of minutes, uh, I picked up the ball just on the halfway line, and uh, I ran forward. Uh, and I think I was okay as long as I kept running a straight line. If I tried to go left or right, I got a little bit of a pain. So I just ran forward and then, then chanced my arm going right. And uh, then I just whacked it. And uh, it's uh, Bruce Grobler at the time got a little bit of criticism because people felt possibly that he was too much off his line. But uh, if, if, they, if they had a camera angle behind the goal, really, they, they would have seen that it did dip. It did go across him, so he, he wasn't to blame, really. He couldn't have stopped it if he wanted to, I don't think. Before the eventual triumph over Barcelona, Mark's reputation as a hard but fair player was brought into question by the sending off in the quarter-finals against Montpellier. Yeah, the, the Montpellier game, um, I got a lot of press in, the, in that game because obviously the incident when the, when the lad got sent off. Um, uh, it was um, a little bit unfortunate, but I still think I, I did the right thing by uh, staying down. Uh, obviously, maybe I stayed down a little bit too long, but uh, at the time, uh, I'd just come out of the tackle and I was stepping over one of their players. and. Uh, I think uh, some of their players felt that I'd, I'd stamped on his fingers or something, which wasn't the case, but uh, about four or five of them started to rush over. And I thought, well, I'm going to be in trouble if I, if I lift my hands or do anything, so I thought, well, concentrate and not get involved here. But, uh, so as, as they're coming over, uh, one's come from the left-hand side, the lad, and uh, he's knocked me over. So I'm thinking, well, I'm better off staying down on the floor. A lot of people said that the reason that he got sent off was uh, the fact that I, I was rolling about on the floor and I, I stayed down a little bit too long. But uh, in actual fact, uh, the referee was, was very close to the incident and uh, he'd, he'd probably sent off the, the lad before I'd even hit the deck, really. So I've, I've got no conscience about the incident at all. After successfully negotiating two potentially difficult ties against Ligia Warsaw in the semi-final, United met Barcelona in the Rotterdam Stadium in the final. The European Cup Winners' Cup in, uh, in Rotterdam obviously is the, is the highlight of uh, my career so far. Um, uh, it, was, it was a great night all round. I mean, our supporters made it a very special night for everybody. And uh, I think uh, the strength and the, the emotion that they were showing, I think it upset the, the Barcelona uh, team and, and their fans because they couldn't... Uh, understand the passion that they were showing. Um, on the night uh, when we came out, um, it wasn't a very nice evening really and it was a bit cold and uh, just as we came out there was a, a downpour which uh, I think uh, it put Barcelona off a bit. Uh, we, we were more than used to that kind of weather but uh, I, I looked at a few of their faces and, they, and you could see they were shaking a bit and they were thinking well, I don't fancy this tonight, so uh, I think that gave everybody a boost. And uh, we just went on there and uh, played them off the back, really. Yeah, the first goal, um, and we just got a free kick just outside the box, and uh, uh, Rob O'Brien Robson just knocked a great ball in, and uh, Brucey ran in and headed it. So I'm not sure what he headed with, his ear, his shoulder, the back of his head, I'm not sure, but he uh, was certainly going towards the goal. And, uh, I was just running in and making sure that he was going to go in the net. At the time, I, I thought that the ball had crossed the line, but uh, apparently it hadn't. And, uh, and later, UEFA made a decision that uh, the goal was mine. But uh, I think it, Steve Bruce is not too happy about that. Uh, I think probably, uh, really, the goal should be credited to Steve. But um, uh, officially, it's mine. But Steve takes a lot of credit for it, mustn't it? We knew that we could maybe get something off set pieces, and um, unfortunately, up, up until that point, um, the delivery, I mean, no disrespect on the lads, but uh, the delivery of the ball wasn't as what as what has been expected all season. And um, fortunately, uh, Pop floated one in there, and I managed to get my head on it somehow, and I think I had it and it hit my shoulder, and that sort of took um, half, of the, half of the pace off it. 
And as you say, that might have gone in, but Hughes, he was doing what anybody else would have done. And uh, I'm sure I would have done the same sort of thing, just making sure. And he